something began to happen. And Creole let out the reins. The dry blow, the dry low black man said something awful on the drums. Creole answered, and the drums talked back. Then the horn insisted, sweet and high, slightly detached perhaps. And Creole listened, commenting now and then, dry and driving, beautiful, calm and old. Then they all came together again. And Sonny was part of the family again. I could tell this from his face. He seemed to have found, right there beneath his fingers, a damn brand new piano. It seemed that he couldn't get over it. Then for a while, just being happy with Sonny, they seemed to be agreeing with him that brand new pianos certainly were a gas. Then Creole stepped forward to remind them that what they were playing was the blues. He hit something in all of them. He hit something in me, myself, and the music tightened and deepened, apprehension began to beat the air. Creole began to tell us what the blues were all about. They were not about anything very new. He and his boys up there were keeping anew, at the risk of ruin, destruction, madness, and death, in order to find new ways to make us listen. But while the tale of how we suffer, and how we are delighted, and how we may triumph is never new, it always must be heard. There isn't any other tale to tell. It's the only light we've got in all this darkness.